so in this video i'll be showing you how to use whatsapp on your amazon fire tablet this would also work for um tablets that do not use sim card and you would like to use whatsapp on that particular gadget this video is for you so sit back relax and enjoy To only take a few minutes of your time so first let's go ahead and check if we can get whatsapp in the amazon app store um this is the app store okay let's just search whatsapp 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 messenger no you can't you won't get whatsapp from the amazon app store or you can get it from the google play store so if you don't know how to down how to download the google play store on, on your amazon fire tablet we have a video on our youtube page you should check it out it's a step-by-step -step process walking you through how to download the play store on your amazon fire tablet okay so now this is the play store let's search for whatsapp whatsapp yeah it says install wow five billion downloads wow five billion that's a whole lot the whatsapp messenger is now installed on your amazon fire tablet let's go ahead and open welcome to whatsapp agree and continue yes of course to use it you need to agree and continue so choose your country our dear country nigeria you are not uar yet Abby. or is it uar we won't get uar from this option so Let's just look for Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay, so yes. So insert the phone number that you would like to put. So I would suggest that you get a new SIM, you know, or a SIM that you are not using personally, and then put it in your phone for this particular period. Put it in your phone because WhatsApp is going to send you a code after imputing the number they'll send you a code so that you can get the code once you get the code and impute it and then whatsapp is set up on your amazon fire tablet or whatever gadget you want to set it up on then you can remove that sim whatever messages comes to that sim you will get it directly on your amazon fire tab or on your gadget but if you use your own existing sim you will not be able to get messages again on your own um whatsapp except you now set it up again your messages will come here to this tab or to whatever gadget that you are um, installing it on so i would suggest that you don't use your own sim use probably get a new sim if you are using your child's gadget and your child already has a phone then you can use your child's sim so that the messages comes directly here okay so i'm going to put the number now eight ensure that this sim the number you are putting in here the sim is active in another phone so i'm going to be the sim is actually active in this particular phone so that you can get the code when um whatsapp sends the code next is this okay would you like to edit the number no it's okay so check the number again to ensure that it's correct it's correct so um i'll just move on okay so the code has been sent okay so i'm going to put in the code now okay so that's it to find and restore your backup from Google Drive, allow WhatsApp access to your contacts and your device photos, medias, you know. So just say continue. To access your contacts, yes, allow. To access media, allow. If you have any backup on that particular thing before, you know, you get it on this one to choose an account. So yes, we are in. Yes, type your name. Let me type my name. Ayo. Next initializing and then you are on so anytime anybody sends a message to this particular scene you get it on your um amazon fire tab or any any gadgets any tab that you're using that is not seem enabled you get it on that particular tab i'm going to switch off that that phone now so that let's just try it i'm going to switch it off even if you remove that scene you will still get messages sent to that scene on this particular device so let me just try and send a message now i've sent one can you see let me send another one 
let me send another one now okay yes the message just came in can you see that the message just came in again okay so you can just save this contact now go here add to contact add to contact add to contact create new contact and then save let me save as io io save see it's saved to your contact to the contacts on your device so you know who is sending the message that phone is off now but i'm still getting messages you can just get a new sim you know register it put it in your phone so that you get a code when whatsapp sends a code and that's all after that code you can remove that sim any message sent to that sim you get it on this device whether there's a sim on it or not so you can actually add contacts on your device so you can just go to the search button here contacts let's just look for contacts contacts yes contacts see because i've saved i already is here so if you want to add more contacts just click this plus button plus put the name enter the details the phone number enter the phone number and that so if you want to add more fields nickname company just like your normal contacts on your phone so that's just about it thank you and then it's all those your contacts if they're on whatsapp it will show on your whatsapp too i hope that was explanatory enough thank you so much for watching see you in our next video